Okay, uh, so let's dive deep uh, talking about the vector data. Um, so we will uh, talk more about the vector data in the following weeks, but today I just want to give you a, a brief introduction that what are the vector data. So vector data is one uh, most common spatial data. Um, and then actually when you download the data from sensors like ship files, um, those are all back to data. And also like the GPS points, uh, the, those LiDAR data, so those are all can considered uh, back to data. So back data that uh, is a coordinate based uh, data model. Uh, so that represents features in three categories. So they represent all the features as points, lines, or polygons. Okay, so points, lines, and polygons. Um, and each feature can have multiple attributes that are associated with each vector feature. Okay, so uh, specifically, that point is a single a coordinate pair. So like we have a point and we know the coordinates of this point x and y. Okay, so those are the spatial information. And we can also know some uh, non-spatial information, all those attributes, like the name of this point. So this point can be a building, um, can, uh, can be a checking data on social media, or can be um, uh, something that like a car, um, okay, so it can be any object. So depending on that, what object you want to represent in GIS. Uh, so that be the point. The line feature is an ordered list of vectors. So that means we have a list of those points. So here we have second, second point and we connect those two points together. And we have a third point, and then we connect those point, those three points together. And each point have its own coordinates, so x and y, x and y. Okay, and each point can also have its own attribute. So for example, this line feature can represent a road. Okay, and so the road itself has a road name. Um, and also the speed limit, so those can be those non-spatial uh, informations. Okay, so that is contains a set of those points. A polygon is, uh, the polygon is a closed list of the vectors. So that means it is still a list of points, but the difference is that the first point and also the last point is the same point. So it is a closed list of those points. So here we have four points, and it also has X and Y. Okay, so now the points can have some other information like uh, the area of those of this polygon. Okay, so this might represent um, uh, a land. Okay, so the owner of this land. Okay, uh, so those can be those non-spatial informations. All right, okay, uh, so this table summarizes uh, those points. Uh, so let me erase. Okay, uh, so this table, this table summarizes uh, those three vector data type. Uh, so the point that has just a, tab, a pair of those coordinates and they have those non-spatial data, like the point, the plot size, type, and classes. And the line feature, so it is an order, ordered list of those points, okay, of vectors. Okay, uh, so uh, point one, two, three, four, okay. And each feature uh, has a one, a uh, record in those attribute tables. So this can be a road. Uh, this one can be a 
dirt trail, and this one can be another road. Okay, and then we have polygons. So polygons are also a set of points, but it is a closed list of those vectors, of those points. Okay, so we have the first polygon, and we have those attributes. So it's a grassland. It is protected grassland. Okay, and we have the second polygon and the third, third polygon. Okay, uh, so those are the vector data. Uh, the second most common uh, spatial data is called the raster data. Okay, uh, the difference between vector and the raster data is that uh, for the vector data, if they are discrete. Uh, points, so either lines, uh, polygons, or the points. But for the vector data, those are continuous pixels. Okay, so like for for example, this is our start area. So those are the uh, uh, a set of the continuous pixels. Okay, so that cover all our entire start area. Okay, and each pixel has a one number that is associated with uh, that pixel, okay? Uh, so this number is referred as a digital number, okay? Uh, so for example, uh, uh, if we are talking about the elevation, so each pixel size, uh, the value of each pixel will be the height of that pixel. So, so like one, this pixel, the height is two, and this pixel, the height is 1.5. Okay, uh, so each pixel has all has one and also only one associated number. Okay, and that representing uh, the non-spatial attribute. Okay, so that is a raster data. Okay, uh, so this is one example of the raster data. So that is DEM, so digital elevation model. So that uh, talking about the elevation of this start area. And if we open the attribute table of that grass data, we can see that each single uh, pixel has one associated digital value. So for example, uh, this one probably will be the first pixel up here. And the value is 33. And the second pixel next to it, this one, Okay, uh, so this may not be accurate, but yeah, so conceptually, so uh, the second pixel, okay, uh, so the value is 30, uh, 61, okay, so that is this pixel. Okay, so when we are representing the uh, object in the real world, so you can choose if you want the, space, the, the vector data or if you want to use the rust data, okay. Uh, so you can, you can use either of them, uh, but for some objects, uh, so back data might be better, and also for some objects, the rust data might be better. Okay, uh, so those may sound very, very abstract, uh, but later on, so when we um, are uh, in the next few weeks, in the following few weeks, so we'll go to uh, look at the real back data and also rush data, so you will have the bad understanding of those two data types. Okay.